Hello there you beautiful children I am Bushra and today we are going to start a new story and the name of the story is Rikki Tikki and Nag This is a story which shows the bond between humans and animals the bond of love affection loyalty which is shared by both humans and animals Okay so let us read this beautiful story Before I move on with the story or the summary of the story let us read about the author the person who wrote the story he is none other than Rudyard Kipling he was an english poet he wrote many poems a novelist and a short story writer he died in london but he was born in india and his stories for children reflect his love for indian culture since he was born in india he had a very deep affection with indian culture and he is best known for his work the jungle book okay now let us read in short what the story is all about so rikki tikki and nag is the story of a mongoose okay is a story of a mongoose that was raised by a british family in india okay so a british family adopted a mongoose because uh, during flood he was separated from his family and this british family adopted the mongoose story what happened this mongoose developed a lot of affection and gratitude with the family he had loads of love with the family so what happened one day rikki tikki overhears the snakes nag and nagina plotting to kill the family so he destroys their plans and ensures that they are all killed thus keeping the human family safe and proving his love and gratitude to them so what happened once upon a time rikki tikki uh, he was separated by his family with his family during a flood and a british family adopted the mongoose okay they treated them they, they treated the mongoose well and slowly slowly rikki tikki became a part of the family okay one day what happened rikki tikki heard nag and nagina they were plotting that they are going they were planning actually okay that they are going to kill the family rikki tikki hears the plan and he ensures that they are all killed he works severely hard extremely hard and at the end he proves that he is actually very much thankful and he actually loves the family he helped keeping the family safe how did he do what did he do is what we are going to read in the story now Rikki Tikki went off for his nightly walk round the house and in the dark he ran into Chuchundra the muskrat and this Chuchundra the muskrat was creeping round by the wall okay what do you mean by muskrat muskrat is a rat like animal who is having thick brown fur as you can see in the image okay So what happened one day Rikki Tikki this is the mongoose so Rikki Tikki the mongoose he went out at night just to have a walk and what he saw he saw a muskrat and he was creeping by the wall and you know this muskrat is actually a broken hearted little beast because the entire night he is whimpering and crying and cheeping out of pain okay So Chuchundra is a broken-hearted little beast. He whimpers and cheeps all night. Okay? He is making short small sounds, okay, out of pain. And he always tries to make up his mind that he will be running into the middle of the room, but he never gets a chance. This Chuchundra, he wants to enter the room, but always Rikki Tikki is there, so he never gets a chance. So what happened? Rikki Tikki caught Chuchundra. and chuchundra was so afraid that he almost started weeping he almost started crying and he said don't kill me rikki tikki please don't kill me you know children mongoose they kill snakes so mongoose said what do you think a snake killer kills muskrats i am a snake killer how can i kill muskrats 
said Ricky Ticky scornfully in a disrespectful way. But how can you say so? Then Chuchundra replied, You see, those who kill snakes get killed by snakes, said Chuchundra more sorrowful than ever. Like, you know, every time, whole night he used to cry. He is like always sad. He became more sad and he said, those who kill snakes get killed by snakes. And it can happen, Chuchundra is saying, it can happen that someday, uh, you know, if the night is too dark, the snake can think me to be Ricky Ticky and kill me. Okay? The snake can make a mistake also. So Chuchundra said, and how can I be sure that Nag won't mistake me for you some dark night? Some dark night it can happen that the Nag will think this muskrat to be Ricky Ticky and the Nag will kill the muskrat. And then Ricky Ticky said, there's not the least danger. You need not worry about it. It's nothing dangerous. Why? Because Nag is in the garden and I know you don't go there. Okay? Because according to Ricky Ticky, he said that, you know, you Chuchundra, you always stay near the room, near the wall, near the house. But the Nag and the Nagana, they stay in the garden. You don't go there. So how will they kill you? It's not possible. You need not worry about it. Fine? And then Ricky Tiki replied, I must not tell you anything. Can't you hear Ricky Tiki? And then Ricky Tiki listened. Chuchundra said, I am not telling you anything, but can't you hear the sound? And then Ricky Tiki listened. The house was very still. Nothing was moving. No movement. Complete silence. But he thought he could just catch the faintest scratch scratch in the world. Okay? A noise as faint as that of a wasp walking on a window pane. So Ricky Tiki, what he did, he listened and there was complete silence in the house. And he thought that, see, I can catch even the faintest sound. Faintest means, you know, a very weak sound, even the softest sound. Okay, a feeble sound. I can hear even the softest sound. So he said, he thought to himself that he could just catch the faintest scratch scratch in the world. Even, you know, he can catch the noise as feeble, as soft, as soft, as faint as that of a wasp walking on a window pane. Okay? You know, wasp is actually, wasp is actually a, a, an insect, yellow colored insect. So even if that insect is walking on the window pane, I can catch that sound also. I can catch that noise also. And even Ricky Ticky can catch the sound of the dry scratch of a snake scales on brickwork. You know, scales, they have, uh, snakes, they have scales on their bodies. So, Ricky Tiki thought that even, you know, these dry scales of the snakes, if they are walking, if the snake is actually crawling on the wall, the sound that comes, I can catch even that sound. And then Ricky Tiki listened with full attention, with complete attention. And he said to himself, that's Nag or Nagana. Okay? Nag or Nagana, like someone is there. And he is crawling into the bathroom sluice. So Ricky Tiki, he said to himself, okay, that's Nag or Nagana. And whosoever is there, Nag or Nagana, he is crawling into the bathroom sluice. You know, bathroom sluice, sluice is actually uh, a tube like or a channel like. Uh, from the bathroom, we have a drain pipe, right? From which the extra water or, you know, like extra water from the bathroom is drained out. So, this snake was crawling into it. Okay, he was going. Actually, the snake wanted to get into the bathroom. So, you know what happened? This Ricky Tiki, he ran off to Teddy's bathroom. Okay, so he went to Teddy's bathroom. But there was nothing there. Then he went to Teddy's mother's bathroom. Okay, Mama's bathroom. Okay. Then what happened? Over there, he heard Nag and Nagana whispering together. You know, they were talking very softly outside in the moonlight. What were they talking? What were they discussing? Nagana was saying to her husband 
when the house is empty of people no one is there in the house ricky tikki will have to go away look over here she is saying when the house is empty of people said nagina to her husband he will have to go away and then the garden will be ours again okay so over here he means ricky tikki since people are over here that is why ricky tikki is here if we kill the people if there are no people even ricky tikki will go away and then the garden will be ours again and nagina again says to her husband go in quietly and remember to bite the big man first who killed crate you know actually what happened crate is also a snake so one steady's father killed the crate okay so nagina is saying first go and kill that big man first go and bite that big man and when you have done come out and tell me and then we will hunt for ricky tikki together now ricky tikki was listening all these he was like completely full in anger okay because you know these snakes they are plotting they are just planning to kill the entire family fine so children till now what happened the snake plotted the plan okay the snake was planning to kill the entire family so that the garden can be theirs and ricky tikki heard the plan now what is going to happen next we will be covering that in the second part of this video make sure you watch the first part and then move on to the second part otherwise you won't understand and if i make the entire story in one video that's going to be extremely long so it's better i cut short cut it short over here and we'll meet in the next video okay thank you